I'm Nathan from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're taking a detailed look of the Air Commuter Brief 2, which I've been testing for the last couple of weeks. Head on over to the website for the full written review, links in the description down below. Let's dive in. So this thing is part of Air's work collection, which isn't that surprising considering it's called the Commuter Brief. But something that also gives it away is this material on the front here, which is a nylon with a weather resistant coating that gives it this kind of look. And it's great, you get that weather resistance. I'm not personally a huge fan of the look it gives, um, but it doesn't detract too much and some of you out there will really love it. Then on the rest of the bag, we have kind of what, no, what Air are pretty known for is this ballistic nylon, which is a really great denier, 1680, I believe, and it gives it that traditional Air look. And it's just a really great material. It's a little bit heavier, um, but nothing too crazy. And um, I personally really like that style and, and the style it gives, and obviously the durability as well. So we'll kind of get mo moving on into kind of the components. Um, as with you know most of the Air products, we've got YKK zips, which are pretty great, never really had much issues with them on, on airbags specifically. And then we've got Duraflex hardware as well. This is a little 360 roting thing that I'll get onto a little bit, but Duraflex and YKK, pretty kind of standard in the bag world and we've had good experiences with both. So all good there. Then kind of, um, we'll take a little look. So to get into the main compartment of the bag, you have to open this top handle and that kind of gets in the way a little bit, um, especially when you do this little buckle up. But having a top handle is really great. I've really enjoyed using it um, with the top handle and you just use it as a brief basically. And then the other way to carry it is with this strap. And the strap actually comes off, as you can see here. And you can completely detach it from the bag and that's you know just in case you want to just use it as a brief and carry it around which I have done and it works perfectly fine. Um, in regards to this strap um, it's really nicely padded, it's comfortable, love that you can take it off to use it if you don't want to use it and what I will say is because you know I'm quite a big guy I have had to extend this all the way and when I've done that this middle part actually sits across my chest as opposed to over my shoulder. I would have to tighten it up to get it over my shoulder because this thing doesn't move across. I like that it stays still, but for me, because I have to get it all the way over, it doesn't quite work as well as it should do. Um, but if you're not, you know, six foot four, you should be able to get away with it and have it over your shoulder for that padding. But even so, it's been relatively comfortable um, to carry with the shoulder strap. So I'll just move that to the side over there. And then taking a look at the other kind of external components, as I said, we've just got this handle here. There's nothing really that much going on. Um, you've got this at the back, which, um, in fact, I'll cover that quickly now before we get into the main compartment. Um, we've got this here, which is a luggage pass-through, which is pretty cool. It's designed, you use that Velcro and take it off and you just slip this on the top. And that's really nice if you're a business traveler and wanna throw it on as you're going through. Um, all good there and it keeps nicely to the pack otherwise, which is great. Then you've got this kind of security compartment at the back here. It's got a lockable YKK zipper, which is great. And in here, it's all padded with a little, nice little felt. In here, I've just got my mask. I've been using the track face mask, so I've kept that separated from the rest of my stuff. So I'll pop that over to the side as well. And then you can see in there, it's good for you know phones and all your kind of stuff you want protected right across your body. Nice little security pocket. And it's got a little garage there as well. Then at the back, we've got this popper, which gives you access basically just to this little compartment at the back, which might be good for, I don't know, business papers if you're rocking this into work, stuff like that. Just bearing in mind that it's not zippered or anything, so if it does rain, it can go in, but I haven't necessarily used that myself at all. So that's what's going on at the back here. Kind of cool, and it lays flat as well. So I haven't actually used this that much other than my um, track face mask in here, but I like that it stays flat. Then, yeah. That's kind of pretty much everything that's going on externally. As I said, these top handles, now the two here, you don't have to 
undo this to get into the front compartment, um, which I will show you now. So we'll zip this open and it goes down like that basically. And I, I really like Air's organization here. They seem to have it just right. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the zippered pocket here. I just haven't really used it basically. There is a little key thing in here, but because zippered gives it that, you know, you have to undo two zippers to get into it. I just haven't really used it. So I'll pop that back up. Um, I don't have anything in the front here, but it's good for stashing things. Then if I turn it around like this, I should be able to get a better view. In this divider pocket here, um, sometimes I'll put stuff um, if it's any bigger, but I've got most of the stuff in the back here at the moment. So we've got one big divider pocket. We've got one little partition here, which I have just my locker for the gym. Then I have in the same one, my um, Air, uh, not Air, um, Apple AirPods Pro, which I'll put over to the side as well. I have taken this to the gym a few times. I've gone in my gym clothing and then just, you know, worked in a coffee house and then used this thing and just popped it away. Um, then I don't use these. There's the pen pockets. I don't typically carry around a pen with me. We've got another little mesh pocket here, whereas these are kind of nylon divider pockets where I've just popped my wallet. Plenty of space in here. And then finally, in this back here, I've got my sunglasses in a little case. And then I've got a little Tombin Ghost Whale pouch, which I've got my um, Apple um, iPhone charger in. So that's all there. What I like is that this all lays flat really nicely. So as you see, I haven't used all the pockets, but they lay flat. So you basically just use the pockets that are right for you, which is really nice. Then because of this as well, if you're using this as a work, you don't technically need a tech pouch because you've got some really good organization here. And I, I like that it folds down as well. And of course, with it being a messenger bag, you can sling this across to your front, open this up and kind of have easy access when you're wearing the bag, which is great. And one of the benefits of a um, messenger bag. And then just unbuckle that there. I typically haven't had this. I, if, in all honesty, I'd probably take this off. Um, these stay pretty much out of the way and it's nice just to have quick access when you need it. But that'll secure the straps together if you need to. Then open up like this. We've got a zipper here. What I will say is that these aren't um, AquaGuard zippers from YKK. That's just the um, reverse coil, I believe. So it gives a nice look. Um, Air do use a lot of kind of, the, you'll see the rubbery um, weather resistant protection. Um, AquaGuard zippers, this isn't that. So they will be a little bit weather resistant, but they're not, you know, don't take this out in a downpour because, you know, you've got expensive computer stuff inside of here as well. So that's just a note on the zippers. Then inside of here, as you can see, there's actually a good amount of room. You've got a pretty good split. Um, in here, this is room for a 15 inch laptop, which I've been having my MacBook Pro 15 inch in. Slots in really well. And because it's really nicely padded and it's designed specifically, I haven't actually needed to use a um, laptop sleeve or a laptop case, which has been nice. Um, then in here, no organization that much in here, but I've got my MacBook Pro adapter there, my little charging brick. Then I've got my headphones. You could pop all of this in a tech pouch, but because I've kind of got down what I need, I haven't ended up using that. And then, as I said, just loads of room in there for all your little bits and bobs. Um, and then finally, they do advertise a water bottle pocket holder inside of this compartment. And this one's pushing it, to be honest, in regards to height. But I'll take that. That's just a Yeti 18 ounce, so by no means even the biggest. Um, but it's, you can see in here, it's got this little holder thing here. I'm not a huge fan of having water bottle pocket inside of a compartment that I also have my laptop in. Um, I actually haven't used it. I just put it in there to show you in this video. Usually I just, you know, carry it with me um, if I'm using one. But, you know, you've got a little space there if you're brave enough to put it in there. Most, you know, get a good water bottle and you should be fine. Um, but not the biggest water bottle. Keep it under 18 ounces, I would recommend. Then finally, you've just got a little sleeve here, which you can throw a tablet in if you've got one. So I'll just close that back up. Some really good internal organization in this thing. I've personally really enjoyed using this bag. Um, aesthetically, or durability wise, sorry, um, this thing can pick up little marks on the front. I've got a tiny little mark there, which I can't seem to get off. That looks, um, not entirely sure where that's from, maybe a little bit of abrasion. And then um, inside of here, I've got one loose thread that I've noticed, um, which isn't great. Um, but other than that, stitching seems okay. Um, craftsmanship wise is, is usually pretty solid from air and their warehouses. 
Um, and yeah, nothing too crazy. I mean, this bag is going to last just because of how well it's built and the materials used, but just a couple of little notes there. And um, I've personally really enjoyed testing this thing. It keeps quite flat when you don't have it, you know, bulked out. Um, but there's also plenty of room for, you know, just your average stuff you would take to the office each day. So there we have it. The Air Commuter Brief 2. Check out packhacker.com for more information and the best buying options that help support the channel at no additional cost to you. Link down below. We'll see you in the next video.